I hear somebody screaming, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy. For the nature must be cancelled. <laughs> Let's be honest there. If not you, you would have made the same mistake. Of course, I don't know if some of you have uh, seen what is happening. If you guys have heard about it. We already talked about it, myself and local man. So local man is not here now. So what happened is that a woman shared her testimony. And the way she shared her testimony wasn't really proper. You understand? Wasn't really following well. Mm? So Polenice was angry. And Polenice immediately said to the woman, You are a liar. You are lying. Your testimony are all lies. Testimony is a lie. Go and sit down. Leave here. Leave the altar. And also warn other people. Don't come here and give fake testimonies. Indeed, you won't blame Paul and Nature. And also you will blame Paul and Nature. Paul and Nature may be is already angry because people are bringing fake testimonies. There are people who do bring fake testimonies. And once you bring fake testimonies, you are not damaging your own reputation. You are damaging the reputation of the church. So it's a, it's a very, very delicate issue. So the only thing I see on the Polynesia was the way he handled the matter. He would have laughed about it say, Madam, you may you say you read law. You don't know, say they know they see BS in law. Say now LLB, they they see in law. And you may you say you read law. Your English know they follow. Your English know they follow. Because we expect you as a law student at least, you should be intellectual. Your English must flow fluently. You don't go to mix them. But now you say you read law and your English don't even follow at all. You know, laugh about it. And uh, maybe tell the woman, thank God we have had your testimony. May God reward you. All those things, yeah, go and sit down. But the way he was so quick to action, that is what me, I see in it. Oh. But for those of you coming out, castle pollen nature, castle pollen nature, come on, man. It's not that deep. It's not that deep. So the real the woman's name is Ayim Vera. She wasn't lying about that open university graduate, or about her being an open university graduate who read law. She wasn't lying. She wasn't lying. And she is a police woman. Vera, according to her, after the whole incident, Vera wrote said. It's disheartening because I couldn't speak English like lawyers. I was labeled a liar for mistakenly seeing BSc instead of LLB. Actually, I graduated with a third class at NOAA. The rejected stone can become the cornerstone. We are reminded not to look down on anyone. You can't imagine what I endured throughout the service. How shattered I must have felt to be disgraced by my spiritual leader in such a manner. I am number 2262 on the list. I Vera deserve better. Well, when Vera released that message, it had a burst. Say, damn, who the hell is Polynesia to look down on anybody? Everybody has a humble beginnings. Majority, you know, all those kind of uh, crazy thoughts and everything. And I understand. I understand where the anger is coming from. But then again, we would have made the same mistake. But most of all, we wouldn't have handled it the way Polynesia handled it. Because if person tell me say it goes quiet, I expect that person to have at least some little knowledge of uh no like speak fluently, not even don't speak fluently, but tell me something that makes me that will defend that you actually went to school. Well, however, thank God the woman 
went to school and pollinated immediately apologized. People were demanding Polynesia to apologize. Polynesia immediately apologized, invited the woman over, and also took pictures with the woman. And the woman later wrote, she said, I want to inform the whole world that I just had a warm meeting with my spiritual father and mother, Dr. Paul Enice and Dr. Becky Enice. I don't have any grudges against the church or them. I remain committed to serving God as a member of Dunamis Church. I am thankful for the concern of the public. I have put the situation at my back and I have moved forward. And I want everybody to do the same. Peace. So now, we could not do the same. We could not move forward. For the nature, don't apologize now. With the apology, he has apologized. And I think. He has some little bit of remorse towards what he did. And according to the church, what they released through their official page, they said, a scenario was created on Sunday, the 14th April 2024, at the Glory Dome, the, Go the global headquarters of Dunamis International Gospel Center. When Mrs. Ayin Victoria came out to testify of how God helped her graduate from the university, thus making her the first person to attend that field in his that faith in his in our family. These were the immediate trigger of the said scenario. Firstly, listening to this testify expression as a border on basic spoken English, conveying the impression that the minimum standard expectation of a graduate especially a graduate of law, was not met. Secondly, stating that she studied law for 10 years begged the question of what her degree actually was. Third, she was unable to state exactly what the correct degree was for the law, which is LMB, rather she said BSE in law, which is largely unknown as a lawyer degree in Nigeria and possibly go globally. This prompted the senior pastor, Dr. Polynesia, to stop the testimony immediately as a product of a lie. However, relief came when it was later confirmed that she actually graduated from a university. It must be pointed out clearly here that embarrassing the testifier publicly with that, uh, with the attended media freezy was never intended. Whatever happened was under this, this power of the moment. The action of the senior pastor was rather based on ease and the church aversion of seem, seeming um, mediocrity and any appearance of untrue. While we were meant to resolve Okay, all that on a BB English. The fact is that the only thing I see for the pastor was that he was quick to action. But we are all human beings. I would have made the same mistake. We are all human beings. I would have made the same mistake. We should strive to be pious. We should strive eh, not to overjudge people. You, you may have made that mistake before to overjudge someone. Someone that is not meant to be judged, you just overjudge that person. So we have made similar mistakes before, and the pastor just made a mistake because he is a human being. Now you know they see them as a big big thing, you know, daddy and mommy. You now you know they see them. That's why you guys expect so much. You are you have so much high expectation from them. High expectation from there. You not see them as angels. You guys have so much high expectation. Sometimes they might be hungry. They are human beings. They can't be hungered to react, to do things. They are not perfect. All human beings with flesh and blood, we all live to be perfect. But we can never be perfect. We only strive to be but we can never be. So for me, the pastor did one, he has apologized. 
let's move past it. And to Vera, a uh, big congratulation. Oh, now you call win the last war. Forget all those who come in laughing for church. Now, mama, you be.